It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we are here for a little bit of a your team team 101 video And what I wanted to do is today is pretty much kind of break down what a team is what goes into making a good team a little bit and just sort of what all this stuff means and as well i kind of wanted to take the minute for some other stuff but guys before we start this episode if you haven't subscribed already subscribe you definitely want to join the nation i mean come on what are you waiting for guys and if you enjoy this video go make sure to slap a like slap a thumbs up on it it would be much appreciated but guys um today i'm just going to go through kind of go through my team here in a later video this week i believe it's going to be on Friday? This was a couple days ago, actually. I went over my higher level team, or whatever, my advanced higher level survivor team. But today I just want to kind of break down my beginners let's play team. So what I have here is, let me go actually break through this right here. Uh, let's go to all units. And so right here I have my level ton, level 10, not a ton, lumberjack here. And it has a sweet and raging fumes perk here. And I love the lumberjacks. I really liked them a lot. I'm waiting for a timber beast. Once I do get the timber beast, He's going in my team for sure, but the Lumberjacks are great. They really tear through the drones quick. They do a great job at taking out those things and some of those lower health zo mutated zombies. They're just really helpful, and especially when you pair them. Good lord, the dog is barking. But if you pair them with a combat medic, glorious things can happen. The combat medic is absolutely great at keeping him high health alive, cruising on through. And it allows for the other, kind of my other survival units to kind of take out those big tanky units, other mutated zombies, and just kind of defend the waypoints. It's really helpful. Love the Lumberjack hands down now next one i have is my trooper now this could also kind of be swapped out for gunslinger or a, a simple gunfighter but i have the trooper here it's a streamer unit that i kind of have exclusively with a couple other stream couple other streamers but it's a really great unit i've loved it it's got a really great just it does work i love it it's it does a great job once i do get a gunslinger i think i'll swap them out because i'll probably be able to evolve my gunslinger i only have one trooper not going to be getting any more of those then i have my scattershot one of my personal if not the best survivor unit guys it's one of my favorites by far guys the scattershot i love them i like scattershots so much i think they'd go to work my personal favorites then we got captain zeta Hero unit. Probably swap her out eventually down the line, but right now she's on the team here. Machine gunner is great at taking out drones, just do work. And then the combat medic. So let's kind of break down the team here. You're only going to get seven units. That is the most that you're going to be able to put in your team. No more and no less. So you're going to have to have seven units no matter what. And each unit contributes a certain amount of team power. So if we go, say we go back into all units and we see my lumberjack here. If we go to the stats, it's contributing 155 team power. And now it probably goes down there from 145, 145, 170, 140, and 110. And that will vary. It will go higher and lower depending on the type of unit and sort of the level. So if it's a rare, so say you're going up against a rare level 10 and then an epic level 10, the epic one's going to be have a little bit more team power because it's going to have a little bit more juice. And of course, it always kind of depends what kind of unit it is, if it's a machine gunner, uh, destructor, things like that. They're going to get different high types of power. So <clears throat> that's pretty much that that is. And I just want to just kind of mention that because it goes towards your total power 935 and that kind of allows you to attack different cities so i have 935 team power right now that is really good that's very high for dakar on normal let me go ahead and check this out really quick i only need 500 i just need 500 that's it and i'm well above that and that sort of gives you a little kind of range to decide what cities you can attack and want to attack so say we're going to fight and not a fight there but say we were looking at lima we're going back to lima to farm a little bit we go fight here i only need 150 time power i have way more than that way more so say we wanted to go ahead and go on hard that's going to require 2200 and we don't have that much yet but that kind of gives us a good kind of idea of where we could attack in the future so that's kind of a really good guide to see like can your team possibly beat out this city it's a good guide for that now also i kind of wanted to ask what are you guys what are your favorite teams like what are your setups guys what are you running with on your world domination account survivors or infected either one just kind of want to see what y'all are running with uh you know why not just go ahead and throw that in the comments section tell me what you like on your team and while you guys are kind of going to that do that now i'm sure um, I kind of want to kind of talk about balancing, balancing a team. And I think that that's become a very important factor in this game as of lately, especially with the survivors. Now, you're definitely always going to want to have a melee and a medic. I think that's one of the most important things now in this game. I personally never really used melee or medics at all prior to this. However, I think 
I've grown to love it a lot. As you can see, my lumberjack, highest level like unit in my team right now. Level 10, and I've been loving the lumberjack. I, my comet medic, love her too. She's doing work. They do great stuff. So I'd always recommend to have some sort, maybe a fire chief even. Fire chiefs are great too. So I'd really recommend to have some sort of thing like that. I think it's always great to have at least one sniper if it's working for you. If you're going against a brute or a titan or something like that, you're going to definitely need at least one sniper to help take them out a little bit quicker. Now, I also like some gunners with me, and you can kind of mix and match, but I, okay, recommended at least one melee, a paramedic, and then a sniper. Now, the sniper can be interchanged depending on the map. Um, say there's not a good vantage point, say it's all close range, or say there's no tanky units. You can definitely swap that out for a gunner or something like that, or another melee unit or another medic. Now, I also like to have a scatter shot with me at all times just because that's my favorite unit, but that can easily be swapped out for like a gunslinger or a thing like that. That's pretty much kind of my spiel on that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and attack a little bit. Actually, no, I'm not. Actually, let's go ahead and do the, go to the infected really quick. So infected players, this is for you. But um, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about that balancing stuff and go through the team. So infected over here. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm evolving my team here. I'll complete those later. But right now, if we go to it, I have a level four. Uh, here we go. So I have Dr. Zombwitz, a foul pickle back. <laughs> it's a pickle bath. I keep I want to say foul mouth. It is a pickle back. It, I have a biohazard, a defiler, a runner, a delivery man, and an infector. Now I'm considering swapping out one of these guys soon for a tank. I'm thinking about throwing in my Colossus in there because he's pretty much one of the highest health types of brutes. However, down the line you can actually get a higher one, but right now it's all I have. I think it's Behemoth, I believe. So I'm gonna probably end up swapping out my runner or something like that for that unit, but We'll see down the line. Now, this team is pretty well balanced. It could be a whole lot better. Now, I haven't had a ton of time to work on my infected account just yet because I'm really focusing on the survivors, but it does the work. It does a pretty good job, guys. It, I would definitely try to get at least one brute in there just to kind of go against those lumberjacks because the lumberjacks cannot handle brutes. They don't have enough damage to cause to brutes to kind of take them out fast enough. So I would def definitely recommend some behemoth or colossus or even just a simple brute. Depends what level I, you're at. But guys... That's going to kind of conclude this little team video. I just kind of wanted to go through the team stuff a little bit, kind of break that down for you guys, and kind of ask what teams you like. But guys, thank you so much for watching, as always. I really do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.